Hi, what's going on guys? My name is Enzo and today we're going to learn how to debug smart contracts. Every software developer has one dream, to write code that just works. Code that works today and code that will work tomorrow. In practice, let's be honest, it's rarely the case. Debugging is especially important in smart contract development for two reasons. The first one is that code on the blockchain cannot be modified or deleted. So the code that you ship is actually final. The second reason is because smart contracts are often associated with financial assets like cryptocurrencies or NFTs. So any failure might be critical. It sounds like you should probably double or triple check everything, right? In this video, we are going to see three ways of debugging your smart contracts. Let's dive in. I just bootstrapped a half hat project and will be debugging the sample gritter smart contract. If you don't know what hat hat is or how to set up it, you can check the video right here or right here. I don't know where I put it. Now let's debug this smart contract. The contract has a greeting state variable that gets initialized within the constructor. And then you have a function for retrieving the value and one for updating the value. The first way of debugging smart contracts that we'll cover today is using good old automated tests. Nothing beat tests. You may be doing test-driven development. You might write your test case titles first, then the code, and then the tests. Or you might just write all your code up front and then the tests. It doesn't really matter. The important thing is that you actually write tests. They surely represent a small cost up front as you write more code. But then they will reduce greatly the time that you need to spend for running a transaction over and over again until it works. Let's say we want to add an Easter egg in the contract that whenever we set the greeting to be keep coding, it overrides the value to be keep coding, keep smiling, our slogan. Let's quickly implement this new feature. First, we'll add a small compare strings utility as Solidity doesn't allow you to compare strings natively. Then we are going to add a new branch to the set greeting function where we're going to compare the strings to see if the argument received is keep coding. If it is the case, we're going to set greeting to our slogan and then return. Otherwise, we're going to just update the greeting value just as before. Let's see how we could use automated tests to cover this new feature. I've opened here the sample test file that gets generated with the bootstrap and it already covers the main function of the greeter contract. First, it deploys the smart contract. Then it checks that the initial value is the one that was passed into the constructor. Then it sets a new greeting value. And finally, it checks the value was actually updated. We are going to add a new test case for our Easter egg. In the first place, we also deploy the smart contract. And then we are going to set the greeting to keep coding. Finally, we check that the greeting now meets our slogan, keep coding, keep smiling. You can run the test by executing npx hat hat test. This will run the test cases for us. We can see that actually we made a small typo in our logic. Let's fix it real quick. Now running the test again should make the test pass. That's right. Now imagine you write your logic, you write your test, but for some reason the test doesn't pass and you can figure out why. This is the moment to reach out to our second tool, logging. If you're using Hat Hat, you have access to a very handy tool for logging values at runtime. This allows you to see variables values and which branches are being executed during a transaction. Let's add a few logs in our code. The first thing I've done is importing at the top the hat hat utility. Then I'm using it in the constructor to log the initial value of the greeting state variable. And I have also added two logs in the set greeting function, one for detecting whenever it's going through the Easter egg branch and another one to log whenever the greeting value is being changed. Now you may be wondering, we have logs in place, but how do we run the smart contracts functions to see the logs? Well, the easiest way is actually running our tests. If you run npx hat hat test just as before, you will see that each test case actually shows the logs. In the first one, we are deploying the contract and then updating the value. And in our second one, we are deploying the contract and then we are executing the Easter egg branch. With these two tools, you should be able to go a long way already. However, there is one more way of debugging your smart contracts that I want to share with you. Imagine that you have carefully developed your smart contract, you have added 100% test coverage on it, and then you deploy it to the testnet to send it to a friend. Your friend interacts with the contract and boom, it, it just fails. Once a smart contract is deployed, it is actually pretty hard to debug it just looking at the transaction in an explorer. Take a look at this transaction. It actually failed, so it was reverted, but we have no idea what happened. 
The third and final way to debug in smart contracts, this time once deployed, is by using a transaction analyzer like Tenderly. These tools allow you to see the stack trace and where exactly in the source code the transaction was reverted. Let's have a look at our previous transaction, this time on Tenderly. Here at the top, you can see the same information that you would typically see in Etherscan. However, here at the bottom, you also have the stack trace. The stack trace allows you to see which functions were run and in which order. You can even go to a reference and see that the transaction was reverted in this exact line. This will be super helpful for catching bugs on the testnet before going into the mainnet. And that's everything I have for you today. Let me know in the comments how you actually debug your smart contracts and if there is anything else you would like to learn about this subject. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications on and please like the video. Until the next one, keep coding, keep smiling.